This is going to be a semi-final set. Gonna go ahead and cast none other than Bufu Celtic on the top right as the Zerga McFerguson. Red is his name and color, except it's not really his name. And on the bottom right, we are going to see the dreaded barcode. Uh-oh. The barcode diamond. This could get a little hectic. He's going to be the Terran at the bottom right. Going to go ahead and be blue. Oh, dreaded, dreaded barcode. Very interesting, actually, the spacing between the barcodes. I wonder if... Do you, do you guys notice that uh, there is this spacing between this one, this one, and this one? I bet that that means it's actually an I instead of an L. I bet that's how you can differentiate it if you look at it really closely. But you see I, L, 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 I, L, 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 I, I wonder. Or maybe it might be the other, other way around. Anyway, this looks like it is going to be a special edition of the map because we do have the dreaded supply depot. This isn't actually force spawns, however, I can't tell them that, unfortunately. Yeah, buddy. Indeedy. So it looks like this overload is going to go ahead and scout cross air predictions to the far left. Not going to see anything, and just like what we saw in the last game from Bufu Celtic, is going to go ahead and make the long journey across and be able to keep an eye on this third eventually in good time. Looks like no pool. We are going to see a similar opening going down here. Looking like a 15 pool before, I mean 15 hatch before pool. And here we go. Not able to scout the first position yet. This drone moving out to, to what is it? What does he want to do? Gonna grab a little money. What's this man? That's a little funny. That's a little interesting. I wonder why he decided to do that. We are gonna have the pool. That's uh, that's hilarious. That's that's really cute. I wonder if that was oh that was adorable. I'm not sure why he did that, but I'm sure there's a good reason. I'm sure it has to do with metagame and timing. We'll see. But the dreaded barcode man, the diamond barcode, is he a secret GM in Ninja Gear? Or is there something more to the story? Or does he aspire to be a GM barcoder? As barcode is most commonly used these days as just a way to look cool. It's like the leather jacket in the 80s. It's like you want to be the Fonzie so you get the leather jacket. You want to be the cool kid in school, you get the barcode account. Nowadays though, it has become so mainstream that you see bronze barcoders, you see silver barcoders, you see GM barcoders, but you mostly see around gold, platinum barcoders as well. So we'll go ahead and see what do we got. It looks like we have two raxes, uh, two more raxes in product Heron on on the far right. Gas going down at a very late time, being that we did see a fast expansion. Greedy, greedy, greedy. We're gonna go ahead and follow up these three raxes. This SC, this SCV really getting a full scout, which is really great, especially at this time. Gonna see no fast, uh, no fast, uh, no all in coming. Gonna see a three queen opening coming from this player, Bufu Celtic. Now, Bufu, I see, we have actually two Bufus in this tournament. We have Bufu Celtic and Bufu. I forget what, come, what the other one is. Actually, should have it in my chat. Bufu Zhang and Bufu Celtic. Bufu Zhang, unfortunately, right now is forced to sit down and uh, and wait. In his comfy little, ch in his comfy chair, as he already is sitting in the semi-final seat, waiting for his opponent. Bunk bunker not down yet. However, more than enough Marines to go ahead and shoo away these lanes. We don't quite have speed yet. Speed is halfway done for good old Bufu Celtic. Let's see, where's that Overlord? This Overlord actually got pew pewed. It looked like I did completely miss this overlord getting pew pewed we did notice just a second ago one marine getting caught out of position a little bit and it looks like Bufu Celtic might want to finish the job as he is no he just wants to tap the tower see not seeing too many marines I mean too many lings touching his natural but this poor little yeah this poor little guy got sh got sh shotted he got shotted he got hurted and it looks like with his wounds he's not gonna he's not gonna scout anymore he said I don't want to do it I don't want them. I hurt. I don't, I don't like. I don't like fighting anymore. This overlord is a pacifist for the rest of his life. I hurt. I hurt my feelings. 
didn't do anything to him. That's so mean. Alrighty, baby, here we go. Drone gonna go ahead and move out for the third. No work on the rocks quite yet. Very nice, droning up. No reason not to drone up. Lair is on the way. Just about to be finished as the second and third and third gases pop up. Fourth gas is on its way right now. Bufu Celtic looking in a really powerful position. Mr. Barcode here. Going into a face, uh, going to a safe teching. Also opting not to not to pew pew the rocks. Not seeing any command center in here quite yet. Is that the engineering bay? Nope. We're gonna see the standard. Go ahead, go ahead and tech forward into the factory and um, and starport. No shenanigans going down here. As we are seeing very standard play from Mr. Barcode. Double gases being taken. Nothing sexier than someone taking double gases. Oh, gives me tingles. And here we go, baby. Queen's gonna go ahead and shoot away. These poor guys have to do four damage to the rocks, it looks like. That might take a while. Actually, it's probably not four, it's probably nine. Wait, wait. No, it's four. Four, four damage. Alright, some speedlings moving out. Gonna test this wall. Not gonna see any gaps, though. There might actually be one gap right here. I kind of do like this wall, though. Even though... I'm not sure how powerful banelings are going to be, but what we might find out, the Spire and the banelings going down almost simultaneously. And these four queens got a big job ahead of them, but it looks like they're getting a little bit of help. These lings, even though they only do five damage. There's a lot of surface area here. These rocks don't stand a chance. Nice queen, going to go ahead and move in position. Go ahead and put that larva down. Now, this guy, this poor little overlord. This poor little overlord is gonna go ahead and lick his wounds and say I'm I'm a tough guy now I'm, I'm a tough guy I'm, I don't care I'm gonna scout I'm gonna fight for my country which is the Zerg nation not to be confused with the bacon nation oh baby here we go looks like a little looks like a little drop is gonna go down at the third don't have any overlord placement right now to go ahead and scout it but it looks like the rest of his forces are going to go ahead and meet a nice pack of speedlings running back home. Almost like he knew that that was happening ahead of time. Might have been a little misclick as they were aimed to go into these uh, dropships. And here we go. Sco scooting over to the third. Sergey not saying anything at the third right now, but doesn't suspect this drop quite yet. The lings are in a nice position, not too far away from home. Dual drop going down in the main and in the natural. Very nice. Going to pick it up and move it on out. Will he snipe this spire or go for the drones? He actually could be in a nice position, but a lot of lings on the field. So he's going to do a little economic damage. Actually, actually might be able to power down one queen. One goes down, two queens go down. Look at this pack of lings. Just running wild and rampant in their own home. All the queens go down. That's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt as he has to build, rebuild these queens. Or at least one of the queens. No, he has to rebuild two queens for these hatcheries. Nice creep spread going across the map. Might want to build three more queens, actually, if he wants to have a, a queen for creep. However, it looks like this creep is being uncontested. As he does move across the map. Very nice. This, this, creep, this creep tumor could go ahead and be right here and start the path across here. That actually would have scouted. That actually would scout drops. Oh, lonely Viking, what are you up to, mister? Is possibly scouting just for overlords. Very common to get that one Viking out to try and get some overlord. And also, it may be able to scout the how many muters are on the field. Definitely isn't Vikings to counter the mu muters. He's making the Viking to kill a free overlord as well as get some scouting across the map. All right, here we go. It looks like that third command center is already down for the barcode Terran. Tech is on the way. We do have Thor's going down. How many factories do we have in here? One factory to speak of. A total of five Raxes. I mean six Raxes. And here we go. Big engagement coming up. Ubu Celtic wants to go ahead and punish this third. He wants to take it out. He knows that if he can keep Terran on two bases, it's just a matter of time. A nice stem going down. How many units are going to get taken out by these Banelings? Nice little split going down for Mr. Barcode. Actually, not taking too much damage. <clears throat> even though the Bufu Celtics, uh, even though his Banelings, I'm pretty sure they did have the speed. Yes, they did have the speed. 
Here comes the infestation pit, allowing this spire to become his greatest spire once this becomes a the magical and almighty hive. Uh, right now we aren't right now the time for uh, for fungals are far away but the splash damage of choice for Bufu Celtic is going to be these powerful powerful banelings with the speed on the creep oh going to be so beautiful as this creep spread is wonderful going across the map Muta is controlling all of the map all of the areas on the map that don't already have creep spread here comes some units moving out not sure what they want to do they want to go ahead and find a lonely overlord or scout, or it looks like again, around the 15 minute mark. Mr. Barcode wants to go ahead and scout around the map. Make sure he knows what kind of economy he's dealing with. Make sure it's safe for him to expand to these other locations as well. Here comes some muta harassment going around to the third. And here we go, baby. Is this third going to be naked? Three turrets. One turret guarding this tank. Oh, and he sees the units on the creep. And here we go, baby. Bane links, links right behind him. A big sandwich going down. And all that is left are these medevacs. As they do do. As they do do. As well as take the walk of shame. Ready. One trusty. One trusty. Uh, one trusty Thor. The army rests on this Thor's ability to shoot down these mutas. Right now, so many links being in production right now for Boo-Foo. boo Celtic. This Thor has got some balls of steel. Look at him. He's like, don't mess with me. Don't test me. All right, here we go again. Mr. Barcode, Mr. Diamond Barcode, Terran, to move out across the map. Not securing any more bases right now. He's feeling good on two bases as his main is going to be just about mined out. And there's that fourth command center. Here we go. We're on creep, baby. How do you like my lings? Bailings on the Thor is going to be enough to go ahead and take care of them. Wufu Celtic, way too much stuff for this army. Again, we are going to see the Walker Shame. Wouldn't be surprised to go ahead and see. Oh, it looks like all these mutants are going to get to, are going to be able to get taken out. Very delicate push. We are seeing this aggression over and over. These banelings all being used up. More banelings. 11 more on the way. Can the barcode take this out? Oh, we do see 32 links in production. No way, no how. Oh, and that was a Thor that got picked up right there, baby. That's a valuable dropship. <laughs> Brosclops, what's going on, man? A pleasure to see you, homie <laughs> G. Uh, and here we go, here we go, trying to catch me rolling dirty. We're gonna catch these banelings rolling greeny. That was a horrible joke, I'm sorry you guys had to hear that. More banelings gonna go ahead and get morphed on the way, and it looks like a nice little wall. We're gonna go ahead and delay this attack. This third looks like it's pretty darn safe, but this fourth expansion not gonna go up. No way, no how, as the fourth expansion is gonna go up for the Zerg and McFerguson. Here we go. More and more engagements, more and more units, the big hug of death. Oh, so beautiful in so many ways. Oh. Wow, really, Boo? Really, Barcode? Looks like he is able to, uh, these, these stores being extremely valuable. I honestly thought that was the end of the game, but Mr. Boo, Boo, Boo Celt, I mean, Mr. Barcode. Not really losing too much economy there. Did lose all his marines, of course, to those silly banelings, but does have these power Thors. If you can protect these Thors, you might be able to uh, gear up to some heavy, to some more, to some more aggression. Right now, Bufu Celtic is making four, uh, four ultras, twenty lings, but these Thors, they might not mind seeing some, uh, some ultras on the field. There we go, thirteen banelings in production. This this isn't gonna this might not be as close as we want it to be. For Bufu Celtic. Fourth command center is officially down though. That is saturated, baby. And here we go, some more attacks. Looks like all these stores are going to fall down. Really not doing very much damage to these uh to these uh to these ultras. 
Fufu Celtic looked for a moment like he could be on the back.